What's up guys, Questler here, and today, I have no idea what I'm even going to be uh, talking about today. Oh, one moment. So, you want to learn how to make video games. Well, I'm Chandler, and I have been making video games for over seven years. And I think I might have the steps to teach you how to make video games fast. So let's get right into this. Step number one. Pick a game engine. Whether it's Unreal Engine, Unity, Game Maker Studio, whatever game engine you really want to, you know, that is out there that you may want to learn, just pick one. Pick a game engine. This is really the most crucial step in the entire process of learning how to make video games. Because this is really what's going to outline what you're going to be learning as you go along trying to learn how to make video games. Each game engine has their own unique workflow and you got to learn that workflow. You also got to learn how to, you know, optimize the workflow for yourself and make it efficient for you. And like I said, each game engine has its own workflow. So you're really going to have, this is a very crucial step because each engine is slightly different. Unreal is different from Unity. Unity is different from Game Maker Studio. And... Uh, I can't really think of any other game engine. Oh, uh, CryEngine's workflow is different from all of them. Whatever one uh, that you choose, you're going to want to make sure that you get yourself familiar with the interface, uh, its workflow, uh, its features, and there's all sorts of stuff that you're probably going to have to do research on. And I would even suggest going and looking up reviews of each of the game engines that you may be interested in and choosing the best one from there. Just do note that some of the engines may have wider feature sets and may have more stuff packed into them and they might be harder to learn because of that. So for example, you might see Unreal Engine, you want to get into Unreal, but Unity is simpler and might be easier to learn than Unreal Engine. So you're going to really want to pay attention to what the engines have in their learning curves because some engines are harder to learn than other ones. So you may want to start with something simpler like Unity, Game Maker Studio, first before maybe hopping into unreal engine because unreal engine is a harder engine to learn because it is used for many AAA titles so there's a lot packed in there where unity is more used for indie game developer uh, indie game development in 2d games so you may have a better time using unity than unreal engine but like i said it's up to you and you have to be the one who chooses your game engine and it is very important that you do the research on each of them so that way uh you know what you're going to be learning and what coding languages you are going to be learning to code your games because that's one thing that you're going to have to learn which leads us into step number two learn how to code in the language that your game engine requires all right if you're learning unreal engine you're going to want to learn and get comfortable with blueprinting uh unity you're going to want to get comfortable with c plus plus i even have a how to code in c uh sharp series up in the top uh left corner right corner right corner top right corner uh in the top right corner uh, i have a car i have a little card up there so you can click on that and if you're interested in learning c sharp because you want to get into unity uh that's there um if you're working with CryEngine, you're going to want to learn what its coding language is going to be uh unreal you if you want to get into the c plus plus c plus plus is there too unreal has blueprinting and c plus plus unity has i believe bolt which is a visual scripting um plugin i think for unity you can learn that or c sharp uh, I'm not sure what CryEngine offers or Game Maker Studio. I'm not sure what languages those use, but you're going to want to make sure you do the research and uh, figure out what programming language you're going to need to learn. And you're going to really want to get the basics down before hopping into the engine. It'll make your life so much easier. Granted, you, um, if you're doing Unreal, you're going to be losing, learning blueprinting in Unreal Engine. It's not separate. It's within it. But if you're going to want to learn C++, you're probably going to want to learn a C++ on its own and then bring it to Unreal. You'll be a little less confused when you get into the, the game programming part of it. Game programming is slightly different than normal programming, but it's important to know the concepts such as methods, um, data types, you know, all, you know, classes, all that sort of junk. You're going to want to learn how all that stuff first and then hop into Unity or Unreal Engine or CryEngine or Game Maker Studio. Um, so that way you have those concepts down and you understand them. So that way it's a little less confusing because it may be a little jarring trying to program a game together in Unity for the first time and not understanding what the code is actually doing, right? So it's under it, it understand the basics first before hopping into that. Just the bare basics. You don't need to go crazy in like software engineering or anything like that. Just the bare basics of coding should be enough for you to help you out in, uh, in these game engines. Step number three. Start off with making small projects and then slowly make them bigger, right? You don't want to, you want to start small. You don't want to start off with creating Call of Duty, right? You don't want to make a game like that for your first game. You might want to make maybe one level of Mario, right? 
you want to start small and make it bigger from there. Maybe even focus on individual features, like for one game you make, just focus on making a player controller and that's it. A next one, maybe focus on adding an enemy to it. You know, just gradually build bases on top of each other so that way, eventually, when you actually do go to make an actual commercial product uh, project that you plan on to sell, you'll actually know what you're doing and you'll have some ideas of how you're going to go about putting these things together and um, making your game. I also do suggesting uh, following, uh, if you're using Unity, Unity Create with Code series. Um, I'll have a link in the description for that if you want to learn Unity. There's a lot of helpful information in there and you'll learn quite a lot along the way. You'll even learn the basics of Unity and really no coding knowledge is required. So if you want to just hop right in, that's the place to go. Unreal Engine has tutorials built into the engine itself. Uh, if you go to the little tutorial page, uh, I'll have a little thing on the screen here showing that right now. You can go to the tutorial section and it will go over that. Uh, you can even check out Unreal Engine's or Unity's documentation to maybe help you out there. There's a lot of information that is there on that. I find myself, even with my own game, checking the documentation on things as I've been making it. Uh, also, another tip is to um, maybe follow YouTube tutorials and stuff like that to help you get the basics down as well. So that is step three. Small projects, make them bigger. Eventually, you'll be able to make a project that you'll be able to sell and actually make money off of. But learning the basics is very important before making a commercial product, right? So yeah, that's step three. Step number four. I mentioned before that you could watch YouTube tutorials and stuff like that to help teach you how to make games. I actually highly, highly recommend doing this. It allows you to learn and it'll give you some ideas and stuff like that as you go. Um, I suggest going on Udemy, Teachable, uh, Skillshare, whatever you can find. They have plenty of courses for game development that are introductory courses that you can take at little to no cost. Um, and YouTube is a great place to start uh, if you want to go a little bit further and maybe spend a little bit of money on some courses. Um, Udemy has courses, Teachable, Skillshare, uh, Lynda.com, all of those, uh, how to, um, all those learning websites have all those different sorts of tutorials on game development and stuff like that. Uh, but YouTube is a really good place to start. Uh, they have plenty of tutorials. Even some of my tutorials uh, may help you out. I have um, the Unity Basics tutorial, which is in a card. Up, wait, oh, up there. <laughs> uh, and up there. And um, same thing with my Unreal Engine Basics will be up in the corner too. So that way you can go check those out. Um, those series are kind of coming along. But yeah, tutorials, uh, YouTube tutorials are a great place to start and Unreal Engine and Unity both have tutorial pages themselves to help you out learn the process of making video games. It is an excellent source to go to and honestly um, it will make your life significantly easier than just trying to learn this stuff on your own. There's also several books you can buy off of Amazon to help you. Uh, I actually have a book. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll go grab it real quick. You can also get books off of Amazon to help you. Uh, this is a Unity game development cookbook. It has a lot of uh, helpful information in here everything from creating players and stuff like that you could buy a book like this is like thirty dollars um to help you out some basic stuff and teach you how to make video games uh if you want to go that route you can i wouldn't suggest doing that i got this book because i'm in college and my college course required me to get the book but i i would recommend there's actually some helpful things in here if you're making video games in unity but yeah um books are a place to go sorry my camera is not focusing um but yeah, uh, you can learn from books, tutorials, uh, Unreal Engine, Unity's tutorial pages and stuff like that. Uh, Unity Hub has a, a teaching training section on there. I'll have it on screen um, to help you learn how to make video games. So yeah, I, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of, uh, it's not like back in the day where it was very hard to learn this stuff. You could actually go pretty much anywhere uh, on the internet and find tutorials and stuff like that to teach you how to make stuff. So be sure to check around. Step number five, learn the accompanying software for making video games. Whether it be Photoshop, Blender, 3ds Max, um, Substance, 3D, you know, whatever 3D modeling software you want to use, uh, whether you're making a 3D game or a 2D game, if you're making 2D, A Sprite, you know, photo editing software, uh, maybe even learn how to make, use some music editing software like uh, FL Studio, um, Reaper, um, I'm trying to think of other DAWs, but regardless, um, you may want to learn some of these software to help you make your games. And also, don't forget about the asset store either. Um, that, that's a completely another note, but 
learn the accompanying software to help you make the games. You're going to need the software because not always you're going to be able to find what you're looking for on the asset store. Granted, the asset store is a great place to look. Um, learning how to use Photoshop is almost an essential tool, uh, whether it be Photoshop, GIMP, Paint.net, whatever your photo editing software is if you don't have the money to shell out for Photoshop every month. Um, it's important to know how to, uh, to use these software because... You're going to need these things. Uh, when you're doing photo editing, you may want to take a screenshot of your game and use it for marketing material and stuff like that. And it's important to learn how to use these software, especially if you're making a 2D game. You're going to be using Photoshop, Ace Sprite, or whatever your photo editing software is a lot because it's 2D game. That's really what you're going to be using. In 3D, um, you're going to be using 3D modeling software to help you uh, 3D model. You may even be able to get away with, uh, if you're making a basic 3D game like I am, The Amazing Ball actually uses many uh, engine stuff in it, and that's it. Uh, you can get away with that too, but um, if you're not very good at that kind of stuff. I'm personally not very good at 3D modeling. I can do it, just not very good at it, but yeah, uh, you're going to want to learn how to use the accompanying software. It's very important that you learn that, um, and uh, yeah, another tip, just as, this is a quick tip. This is not a step or anything like that. Uh, use the asset store. Like, There's plenty of free assets on the Unity and Unreal Engine asset store. There are some great resources there, and if you're making a game, any game, the Asset Store is a great place to go, especially when you're learning the core concepts of the game engine. Instead of going and creating your own art to follow along with a tutorial series you're watching on YouTube, just use the Asset Store. Uh, you'll probably be able to find something free on there, uh, and there's plenty of assets there that are available for use at low cost or even free. Like... Don't pass that up, especially even if you're making a commercial product. Don't be afraid to use the asset store. Everything doesn't need to be customly made by you, right? You can find if you find something that fits your game that you're making, buy it or get it for free off the asset store. If it's a free asset, use it. It's there as a tool to be used. And there's plenty of people that are creating and making money off of the asset store just by simply making assets. And you could even get into that too. Instead of making video games, make the assets for game developers. Just a quick tip. I mean, there are plenty of avenues you can go with learning how to use a game engine, and there's plenty of ways to make money off of doing this kind of stuff. So, yeah. And now we're going to get into step number six. Don't give up. It's hard. I get it. And you may get burnt out of learning this stuff. You may get burnt out on your project. Don't give up. Push through. Uh, really, honestly, maybe take a short break but just don't give up whatever you do i know coding is hard game engines are hard to learn this stuff can be very challenging especially when you run into a wall and you're having a problem getting you know uh, a bug fixed or trying to implement a certain feature i know it can be hard i've been there and i've done that uh in my seven years of doing this uh i've been through a lot of trial and error and i've been in similar situations to what you guys may be facing is you try implementing a feature and you have no idea how to conceivably do it or you have this bug that you just can't fix and you have no idea where to start i understand it's a hard process but don't give up you'll figure it out you got this and just remember have fun with it like this isn't something like that you should be going and getting angry about or not having fun with it if you're not having fun with it most likely you shouldn't be doing it right if you're not having a good time, you're not loving what you're doing. Um, you might want to look elsewhere. You might have your passions may be elsewhere, you know. And this stuff is not hard. This stuff is pretty hard, but if if you stick with it, you'll learn. And the whole thing about it is, it's a, the love of the learning process, right? There's so much to learn, and you'll never stop learning. Okay, especially when you're making video games. It is a never-ending rabbit hole that you'll forever be learning something new every time you make a new game or make a new project. You're going to be constantly learning something new, which is why I'm saying never give up. This video, How to Learn How to Make Video Games, is really just some five basic tips or steps that you would take when you get started. But just remember that you'll never stop learning. You're going to be constantly learning new things from cinematics, animation, which is another thing that I forgot to mention in the accompanying software, animation software. That's pretty important. Many of the engines these days have their own animation stuff built into them. But, hey, if you want to use, like, um, you know, Spline 2D or something like that, I have it on my notes screen here. I have little notes. But, yeah, uh, it's just important that you uh, that you just remember that you're going to be forever learning something new each time. And don't be afraid to use the internet to help you out. 
Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Leave a like if you have uh, if you liked the video. Leave a dislike if you didn't like the video. Uh, comment if you have any other tips for some new game developers. I would really appreciate it, and I'll try to respond to any questions. Also, leave questions if you have any questions. That would be really awesome. And uh, be sure to go wishlist the amazing ball on Steam. Um, that's my game. Uh, it'll be releasing hopefully next year. And uh, I've been working on it for quite a while, and I'm pretty stoked on it. So uh, I'm sure you've seen it in quite a few videos if you haven't been around the channel for a little while. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe uh, for more game development videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.